What you got there? One of the first times we've ever done a video where we had chai. Well, unless you count the times we had actual street. No, like a reaction with chai. Oh, that's true. Slancha. Let Salud. the video begin. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid reacts of Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to everybody's sports on Patreon. Follow us to the account, subscribe, like button. And welcome back. And what year is it? We're doing a snack video. We are. What? We haven't done one of those in ages. We haven't done a snack video since the last time we did a snack video. Wow. Insightful. Which is, which is, in, yeah, it's been a hot minute. Yeah, it's been a minute. Uh, but this is the first time we've done one, I believe. Oh, well, outside of like maybe did one for an intro uh, with Mike. Yeah, I can't remember the last. Wait a minute. No, we did one a couple months ago when we got those snacks that were sent to us and we tasted all the Hootsie yummies. Oh, yeah. Somebody sent us something. Yeah. But no, I'm like oh, the old school ones. Yeah. I went to the store and went hog right. wild and uh, bought some things. Snacks. And I hope I got all new stuff and stuff that is familiar to you because... That would be pointless. It was difficult for me yeah. to find stuff that I'm like, oh, that looks good in Indian. <laughs> so uh, if you haven't seen our other stack videos, we have a bunch. A bunch. Uh, quite a few. Um, you really need to see the original, the the goat, which I th I think is when we tasted Hajmola for the first time. Yeah, I don't know which video that was, but. It was early on. Uh, but my wife did make us some chai because normally there's stuff and we're like, oh, this would be good with some chai. Right. Be, it, it, it was Very nice. nice. Uh, she was just kind enough to make me some chai this morning. Uh, anyways, so what do we have, Rick? We've got snacks. Oh, wow. I mean, I guess since we have chai, we can try. My mom said that's what you call her late at night. True. A snack. Super. What is this? Oh. Super. 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 Looks uh, like it's a biscuit. It does look like it's a biscuit. Uh, the original super. I don't... Uh, that's all I know. So if I eat this, does it make me super man? <laughs> My bet is is it's kind of like a... a <laughs> most things in India, especially crackers, are digestive. Yeah. <laughs> it seems like in India. Or if it's like Parley G, you can only keep it in the hot liquid for approximately 1.3 seconds. Yeah. We do have chai. Ooh. It's ribbed. Hey, it smells like a cracker. Racist. Can't be racist to white people. Here we go. <laughs> oh, you're going to dunk first? I'm just going to taste it pure and unadulterated. It's kind of like um, butter yes. cookie. Yes. What are they called? It's like a butter cookie in the little tins that you get at mm -hmm. Christmas time. Yeah. That's very, quite good. Very similar to a butter cookie. Yeah, there's a famous like Christmas tin of like Christmas style cookies. This is 100% what this is like, right? Which are the favorite cookie in the tin? The butter cookies. That's um uh, That's nice. That's very good. How does it do with the dunk? Does it has the dissolving a aspect? Better than Parley G. Lasts a little bit like, longer. Yeah. But it's not an Oreo. No. Yeah. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Or a Mary Biscuit. Those are the kind that my wife likes to have with her. Mary Biscuits? Jobs, Mary Biscuits. Is that an Indian biscuit? Yeah. No? No. Lovely. That is lovely. That is a nice beginning to the snackage. Wow. What a snack video we are about to have. Next! Masala Puri. I'm a little scared. Why? Um... Because you never know what you're going to get with masala. That's true. Uh, wheat flour crisps. Wheat flour crisps. And of course, if it says masala, it's spices, obviously. Not to be confused with Crisp and Glover. Would you like a whiff? Oh, you know I would. Smells good. Smells like a crisp. Looks like a crisp. They're kind of uh, moist. Just like your mother. They are. They look. They look a little damp. Look a little firm. Let us see. And yes, we will smell everything. We love to smell. If you're new around here, we love to smell. Yeah, yeah. We I know. don't know why you wouldn't want to smell before you eat. 
Yeah, I, I know it bothers you to the nth degree, but it smells good. It's like if I if I'm opening up, uh, it could be a completely fine expiration date on the gallon of milk. I'm still smelling it before that, I pour it. That's true. Always. Immediately. Immediately. <laughs> Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh. It has. What is that flavor? Um, gear masala. It's the. There's a particular flavor. It's in hajmola, and it's. In, this does not taste like hajmola. No, 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 no. There's a. There's one flavor. I think it's <clears throat> just gear masala. I think mostly. Is that what it is? I think so. <coughs> there's one flavor <coughs> that is so unique to some things. It's in hajmola. It's in this. Oh, it's got a nice little. How you doing? No, but pretty good. Yeah, it's got a little zip in yeah, the back got of the a throat. A little bit, but it's not bad. It's good though. Like the flavor. I like it. Like, like it, it's it's interesting it's because so you think it would be um, like when you just see the bag, you're like, oh, these are going to be crispy. Is that like have like a moisture? To no, it? it's yeah. It, they look like they might be pretty dry and crispy, but they're not. It's it's kind of dense and moist, kind of like your mom. I think you said that already. No, the dense part. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's actually very good. <laughs> There's a really funny part. I really like, we like the Mindy Project a lot. There's this moment <laughs> where Mindy and her boyfriend, who is the other lead guy in it, and they're like, Indrani and I, he's white, she's Indian. And she says, Some God? Wow. <laughs> she says something to him about, she let somebody read read the, read the poem he wrote for her, and he's utterly shocked. And he, he, he says, Brown Orchid? <laughs> If you know, you know. Is that what you call your wife? Sometimes. The brown orchid. Uh-huh. That's very good. I'm surprised at, I'm really surprised at how moist it is. I could eat a lot of those. Uh-huh. This is lovely. And it is good with chai. As most Indian most things snacks are. are. Yeah. That's most savory and salties are... Sweets sometimes are not the best thing for me to have. I'm not a big sweet fan compared to the salty and savory anyway. And so this is a mistake I think I made. I I thought we hadn't had these um, chips yet. Because I saw it, I was like, oh, naughty tomato. I think these were the first one we had. Actually. Are we naughty? I don't remember naughty tomato. I think I looked up the video. It was four years ago. Um, oh. It was with Micah. Um, but I don't remember it. <laughs> I remember tomato. I don't remember it being naughty. I um, like that. But anyways, I wanted to, I think we've tried most of the other kurkuri. That's actually a nickname your mom has for me. Naughty tomato. Every once in a it while. It more sense for me. I yeah. read hair. That's true. You are the naughty tomato. And I know how to open them now. How, what what goes better, to... bearded bastard or the naughty tomato? I like naughty tomato. <laughs> I forget what these tasted like, so it's fine. Because I, I did look up that video. It was like four, maybe five years ago. Okay. Totally forget. Oh, it's a Cheeto. Basically. My guess is going to taste like ketchup. Probably. And word to the wise, do not put this in your butt. Yeah. Moist. Ooh. <laughs> Tomato <laughs> immediately hits you in the face. <laughs> it tastes like a, a ketchup covered uh, Cheeto. That's 100% what it tastes like. It tastes like a Cheeto you dipped in ketchup. <laughs> That's super. Alexis would hate that. <laughs> That's super weird. It's not bad. It's, it's not bad weird. at all, but it is. It's it's a whoa. Hey, how you doing, friend? Uh, wow. A little to the left. Well, that's accurate. Yeah. Uh, it tastes like a Cheeto with tomato on it, to, with ketchup on it. Yeah. Uh, and it too. That's all it is. Like most Indian snacks, you take a bite, you wait a minute, and there's a little in the in the back of your mouth. That's interesting. Really interesting. That's weird, man. It's so strong. It actually, I mean. My bet is the. Um, the tomato taste is really strong. The masala ones are a little more popular. But I bet you guys don't use ketchup as that much as, as we do. heavy tomato. I bet you guys don't use ketchup as much as we do. <laughs> so it's like so. unique. I love ketchup. <laughs> On fries. We, we, were, uh, we were having dinner one night. We were having um, a, a hamburger of some kind. And I, I was with every bite. I'm like. You scorch it every and single time you have a, a bite every of bite. a burger? Every bite. That's weird. Just put it on the burger. No, that too. That's weird, man. And uh, and trying to say, you love ketchup, don't you? 
That's one of my guilty pleasures. So, it's nothing but pure sugar, but I love it. That masala puri is uh puri. Puri. That masala puri. <laughs> that that there masala puri <laughs> is catching up to me now. Ah. Uh, um, pun intended. And so I need to have a little thing to cool me down. We got it, a ketchup. And the it's catching up to Faluda me. Faluda basil seed milkshake. Strawberry. I'm a little scared. Why? Um, okay. Uh why? Basil seed milkshake? Why does that scare you? Basil. What's wrong with basil? basil In a milkshake? It's basil seed. It doesn't... It's... Yeah. Anyways, it's by... Say this brand. It's by... Dunraj. Dunraj. Um, Brought to you by the people at Dunraj. Break the seal, Corbin. Oh, yes. Oh, no. He's released all of the demons. Oh. <laughs> <gasps> Yummy. It's I a milkshake. So I like that consistency. I wanted to cool off my mouth a little oh. bit. It smells good. I can already smell it. It smells like strawberry quick. Quick? What's quick? Chocolate quick. Nesquik. Nesquik. Yeah. Oh. It tastes, it smells it, like strawberry Nesquik. It does. Right? There we go. There was a chunk of strawberry in there. That's good. It That's not kinda, what I was expecting. It does kind of taste like the Nesquik strawberry stuff. It does in water. Yeah, not as it's much. It's not uh, a heavy milk. Not as much milkshake. No, we're here used to milkshakes being really thick. Maybe it's just because it's mass produced. Um, it has the consistency of a yuhu. If you're from the East Coast, know what I'm talking is about. Is that strawberries or is that the basil seeds that are? I think it's the basil seeds. I hope it's one of the two. If it, it, it could be for all we know, a factory worker's flesh. Because obviously you see it, and I think it's I think it's the basil seeds. They expand in there. Ooh, maybe they do. Are the basil seeds like uh, the? I don't know what it's called. There's this, there's this drink. Boba? Uh, yeah, I was thinking along those lines, but there's another drink I have. It's like half the consistency of boba hmm. that are in there that are really fun. But yeah, it's got a boba kind of. It's like a mini boba. It's a good flavor. I mean, I like it. I would drink it. It's a very good flavor. Yeah, they're like they're like miniature bubas. Mm -hmm. Those seeds, boba is tapioca. If you don't know, it's good. I drink it and it cooled off my yeah. mouth, so that's nice. It's all right. Nice. It's not mango lassi. No, but not everything is. Almost nothing. Yeah. What do we got? We got more snacks to eat. What do you think it's gonna be? Best guess wins a prize so funny somebody sent me a screenshot of um what's up say that bakri masala bakri it says it's a spiced whole wheat flatbread crisp not to be confused with bakwas <laughs> it does kind of look like that it to does. my eyes um oh it's wrapped in foil it's uh specifically designed for nasa wow it is hermetically sealed actually yeah wow Did it just hiss? It's my old Indian. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody sent me a screenshot of a comment on our video where we did the the reaction to... Ooh, I don't know. Looks like it was run over. Flatbread. <laughs> Legit flatbread. Yeah. And it's, it's kind of like a cricket ball. It's they, shiny uh, on one side and rough on the other. Somebody sent you a comment about what? Um, when we did the reaction to the new, to crew. Yeah. Uh, and we were saying very firmly tongue in cheek how we script all of our responses. <laughs> and I guess we're such good actors, they believed us and said, finally, the truth comes out. <laughs> <laughs> this is, it's a, it's a mashed cricket ball. See, shiny and smooth. Rough and dull. I could throw this one uh, a spin ball. It smells it's Indian. It's the gear masala. Let's see where this goes. Ooh, it's a little. Pretty bland at the outset. I wonder if you're supposed to have this with something, you know? Like at a funeral? <laughs> 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 I don't like this at all. It's dry. It is very like so as opposed to like the masala puri. <laughs> don't do that in the mic. <laughs> this is not fun. 
Please don't do that in mic. Um, it is very dry. So I'm wondering if like you're supposed to have it like hummus or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Not not a fan of this one. It is very dry. <laughs> It's dry and it's just the, it's very bland at the start. Yeah, and then now that it's landing, it's got some nice zippity doo dah at the end. I'm wondering if like, but if no, it, this is a hard pass on if this like one. You obviously this is like something that people would normally make fresh, um, like whatever this is called the bah, <laughs> the I don't know why bakwas masala. I don't know why it had to be hermetically sealed to maintain this freshness. It's uh, that's the, you keep woof. the moisture in there. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine it if it wasn't hermetically sealed? <laughs> yeah, I'm not not a fan of this one. <laughs> that one's, and I don't know if these. That are one Indian. tastes like depression feels. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if these are Indian. It was at the Indian store, um, but I got them because it's what I do most nights. Yeah, <laughs> ginger nut. Man, we've got. Naughty tomato, ginger nuts. The fiery one. Oh, there's different kinds of ginger nuts? Well, you should know. You're a redhead. Yeah. Um, so if this is not Indian, let me know. I mean, I know Indians love ginger. So hey there, I'm ginger very, nuts. Very I'm going to say that to Whoa. some of my redheaded friends. I wonder if it's as dry as it looks. <laughs> oh, my. Looks like it came out of the Sahara. It does. Oh, good Lord. Are your nuts that dry? Yeah. Uh, whoa, it's literally falling apart. It's crumbling. Those nuts need help. I'm trying to get to ones that aren't crumbling. I think as you open it, they're going to continue to crumble. It's crumbling just like our infrastructure. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good Barry. <laughs> Bernie. Yeah, him too. <laughs> infrastructure. The 1%. The problem is... You do this. <laughs> what they're doing... Ooh, yeah. in the Republican Party. Ginger. If if that's what your nuts smell like, I'm happy for your wife. <laughs> so, she, loves, she loves ginger. I bet she does. Mm, mm. Wow. Really dry. Not as dry as that other mm, thing. That's true. But what does it remind me of? Like it's so sweet. Something I've had before. That's a weird combo, man. What is that? I wonder how it is with chai. Let's see. I've had something that tastes like this. What is it? <clears throat> it's ginger. That's what it is. It's literal ginger. If there's something else, what's making the sweet happen first? Is it honey? It might is, just, it, is it the weirdness of honey and ginger together? Maybe. It might just be gingerbread that I've had. That That's the familiar flavor. Because there's ginger and gingerbread, hence the name. Um, you know what it's like? Mm. It's like a gingerbread cookie and a graham cracker had a kid and kicked it out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> it's been living on the street for a while. <laughs> That's a pretty accurate description. Yeah. If you cross a gingerbread cookie and a graham cracker and then threw it on the street. It's okay. Oh, wow. It's bizarre. This is super interesting. This, <clears throat> um, because you really feel the balls going in your mouth. I beg your pardon. <laughs> That's what your drink, mom said last night. Drinking it out of this. You really feel the balls going into your mouth. <laughs> Says ginger nuts. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if we're not careful, if we keep up uh, in the way that we're going... <laughs> ah! The British Board of Film Certification is going to change our rating from a U to a PG. Now we got just like Mary Poppins. Just Did like you hear your, about that. Just like your mom. Now mm -hmm. we're getting the creams. <clears throat> I didn't know you knew that about my mom. I guess you should because you've is, been with her so much. This is by Barley, the same people that make Barley G. Oh. Uh, creams gold mango. So it's a mango. Okay, so it's a cream and it's gold so and I'm it's mango. It's like a Oreo, but with mango. <laughs> okay. No chocolate. This is a. This looks like a vanilla cookie. That's another good pole dancer name for you. Corbin was a stripper that called. Oh, good lord! I've never had nuts. that flavor in a cookie. Smell it. Vanilla cookie. <laughs> that's that's like a sweet candy uh, flavor, like 
Like That's, I feel like I feel like I'm about to put like a little. It's weird. It's f- it's a fruit cookie. Yeah, because the mango smell is strong. We don't normally have a <laughs> the lot mango of- smell is strong with this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's, let's go for it. Go. Cheers. Uh-oh. Oreo consistency. The mango taste wasn't as strong as I was expecting based on smell. See, it's good. Um, it, it's good. I don't know that I would ever gravitate towards something like this, though. Like, I, I think I would prefer this in a um, like a, a, a hard candy flavor, like that you suck on. You know the after the aftertaste isn't friendly. Yeah, no. The aftertaste tastes like a mango that's been sitting out and then covered in cream. <laughs> Weird analogy. It's like an today. old old mango covered in half and half. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's what it tastes like. I'm not a fan. It's interesting because we don't have cookies that have this flavor in them. No, at all. We have candies that do. Lots yeah, this is a hard candy flavor. Yeah, yeah. But never a creamed filled cookie. Well, we have so there are cream filled cookies that are on the vanilla flavoring side, like an Oreo that has like the the, the vanilla flavoring side. Or have you ever had a Vienna finger? <coughs> Vienna <laughs> fingers are this kind of a cookie. They're 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 longer, but they're just they're a cream, and they they taste kind of vanilla. Yeah, it's more of a vanilla flavor, not right. Like not a, a sweet, fruity flavor. Yeah, that, those are typically hard candies or chewy candies. Yeah, not in a cookie. That's yeah, yeah. Definitely I'm, a different experience for sure. Hey man, I got some old mangoes sitting over here. Why don't we put them in a bowl and cover them in half and half? I got a better idea. Let's turn them into a cookie. What are you doing <laughs> over there? <laughs> All right, let's cleanse our palate with a say this. Let's cleanse our palate with Jabson's rich in traditions Rajwadi mix. Royal savory cornflakes, cashew nuts, and raisins mix. Isn't cashew nut redundant? No. Oh. Peanut nut? Almond nut? Oh. Did you get everything? I did. It looks fun. All right. Let's go. Two, one. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. What I was expecting... I like the cornflakes in here. Yeah. Not as hard as a lot of some of the other ones. Is it a snack? Is it a breakfast cereal? Who knows? Put milk in it. You could. That's pretty good. I, I like I it. actually wish there was a little more flavor. Me too. Like, I wish it was a little bit more... Masala-y. Right. Like a lot of these kind of snacks that look like this are that go with a nice cup of chai. It's good. I like the golden raisins. It's good because it's be stronger. Raisins don't always work in things, but it works in here. Most times they don't work for me. Yeah, me too. I'm not a raisin fan. Like you ruin an oatmeal cookie if you put raisins in it for me. I don't like raisins in an oatmeal cookie. Yeah, same. That's good. Um, I just wish it was a little stronger. I'm with you. Yeah, you hey. could you could you could double up the flavor. Yeah, power. Yeah. Maybe it's supposed. To but it's good. good. Maybe it's just supposed to be a subtle mix of stuff. That's good though. I like it. It is definitely different then if you want a little yeah. bit more it's mellow. Because like some of the other like mixes that we've had um, have a l- little more flavor to them. Yeah, that's a mellow. Yeah. That's a mellow snack. And we got two more. We got another cookie here. And this is an interesting one. Cumin. It's a cumin biscuit cookie. Okay. Which cumin is in like gear masala, so right? It'll be a familiar Indian, flavor. right? But just to have a cumin flavored biscuit or cookie is that is interesting. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> and it's by um, Surati. Surati. Did I show you that? Um, I bet it's gonna smell Indian. What gives you that idea? The cumin. It doesn't. It actually oh. just smells like a cookie. I, yep. cannot, I can't even. I can't even. The, uh, yeah, there's the no. Uh, Hopefully, these are moist. <laughs> they, I, you know what? I think I'm getting the idea that this is going to be moist. Well, let's hope. Let's so. see what happens. Cheers. Oh, there it is. It's subtle. I was expecting a little more human punch. 
It's there. It is. It's but like it's a so... whisper. Exactly. It's almost just like a butter cookie. It is. It's like a butter cookie, and somebody went. Come on. <laughs> that's how I describe white claws. Yeah, that's yeah. It's like a yeah a seltzer that somebody whispers. Just kind of the f- mango. <laughs> I'm not yeah. afraid of white claws. I'm me too. I don't like white claws. <laughs> It's good, but once again, I was like, I was expecting. Well, I was expecting to get overwhelmed by it. They they just kind of really backed off. Any any Indian snack or food, I'm usually expecting a lot uh-huh. of flavor, mm-hmm. just because obviously Indians like a lot of spices, a lot yeah. of flavor. And so anytime I don't get that, well, I'm like, that's... Except for the biscuits. A lot of the biscuits are pretty mellow. Wondering if it's because they're maybe yeah for the dunking you don't want to overpower the chai yeah do you ever just eat a biscuit by itself I doubt it Indians love nah dipping in gravy or dipping in chai yeah my wife does never eats a biscuit unless it's with a cup of chai and I as good like I think parley G's are glorious but I I would never eat them without a cup of chai. My kids eat them without a cup of chai. I it's bet. Because yeah, one little ones do. When we, when we babysit Clint, he's wanting. He's walks in the kitchen and he points up because he knows that's where the biscuits are. He loves both Parley G's and Mary biscuits, and he just he downs them. Mm-hmm. He'll eat five in a heartbeat. Not Parley G's, the, the Mary biscuits, the bigger ones. That's good. But, this is very good. Yeah. Um. I I just I, I expect a little more. Cumin. Me too. I actually thought it would be not particularly fun, but yeah. this is this is nice. That's a good subtle cumin biscuit. Nice. Biscuit, you have very nice biscuits. Don't say that. That's not a nice pickup line. Wow, you have wonderful biscuits, lady. I love your biscuits. Can I put some cumin on them? And lastly, would you like to taste my cumin biscuits? No, I'd rather have your ginger nuts. Say this. This is matka kulfi. Pista. And I think that means pistachio. I think. Mm. What exactly is inside there, Corbin? Matka kulfi, a rich and creamy kulfi full of flavors of the East blended together in a clay pot that takes you back home. Oh, and uh, one thing that's cool about these is they they, they come in a clay pot. Uh, I don't know if this is clay, but you can reuse it for chai is basically the thing. Do you come in a clay pot? I do. Mm. Often. Uh, it's my preference. You know why Dr. Pepper comes in a bottle? Why? His wife died. Ba-dum-bum. Hey! Look at It comes with spoons. Oh, it comes with teeny tiny spoons. That you can have with your snacks or use for your heroin. Ooh, the spoon is very, very cold. It was in the freezer. Ooh. It's it's really nice. The spoon's got grooves. So there's the groovy part of the spoon, a little dip in it, so you can scoop. It smells limey. It does. It smells like it's gonna have a lime overwhelm. And then it's got a little groove for your thumb that actually is kind of ridged right there. For the, ridged for your pleasure. Ridged for your pleasure. We drove by the Hustler store. We always do. And I always ask Andrani if she wants to go in. And sometimes she does. Sometimes I do. Looks like mint tea ice cream. I originally got like a masala flavor at, at the start. Why does it smell like lime, but not taste like lime? That's very good ice cream. That's yummy. That's very good. That's yummy. <laughs> Why is there kind of a lime flavor? I think it's... Hey, where's the other one? Are you saving it for your wife? Yeah, she'll have yeah, some yeah, of yeah. this. Um, That's really good. It's like a, it's like green tea ice cream. It's at the Indian stores. So it's very, some. very close to green tea ice cream. Yeah, that's very good. That's a nice... That's a lovely little... That's a lovely little thing. I mean, the thing with these is... They, they say they, um, keep the clay so you can put your chai in these little clay pots. So you, after you eat the ice cream, you can have chai. I want this. Yeah. Um, I well, need, here, I need to take a picture of that because I'm going to get it next time because this is just something. Just go to that, the Indian grocery, find the. I know, I just want to remember what it looks like. Boom, baby. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Get the, the, the flavor of the ice it's cream. It's really, really nice. The cha is gone. A little bit cold, so I'm going to drink my tall blonde. Mmm. Yeah, I'm going to eat the rest of that. That's very good. I like that a lot. Uh, what was your favorite? My favorite was actually either this, the Kulfi, yeah. or the, um, where was it? That's tough. 
The this. Yeah, I, it's tough. The masala puri. That was very good. I. I I would I would agree with you. I would say these two, and I'm leaning towards this because not only is it really delicious and a beautiful little mishti to have, but you can use it for a chai cup after the fact. It's an yeah, extra special that's, bonus. That's pretty cool. Um, I hope you enjoyed our uh, snack video. We enjoyed it. Uh, I know you haven't done one of these in a long been time. A while. So yeah, I it's been a while. Enjoyed it. If there's other snacks that we have not tried yet, please let us I'm know what sure they are, are so I can find them at because <coughs> you guys know what you eat all the time. And uh, I don't know any of those things. Uh, and so, not everything can be, we, we sometimes have to have it shipped here, so which yeah. is fine. So please let us know yeah. what the next snacks we should have are, and uh, let what your favorite snack of these are down below. Juice!